apocalypse means discovery, discover, right? Or um, that's one of the cognates, disclosure as well. Revelation, uh, as in vellum, means a veil and rare away again. So um, when you notice something, it's an apocalypse. It can be an angel peeping through the clouds, or it can be a discovery in science. Now, Tesla was walking along in Budapest, Central Park in Budapest with his friend, reciting poetry one day, and he was frozen to the spot by a vision of a machine in the air, and it turned out to be the AC motor, the alternating current motor. When he got back to his workplace, he made it, and like all of his inventions, and the guy took about five, 600 patents, he never made a, a blueprint, he never made a calculation. He used to lie on his couch and just go off on a journey, and he used to describe going across uh, all this kind of scenery, and then eventually he'd come to a machine, or the AND gate, or the Tesla coil, and all this incredible stuff, which was very much personally his gift to the world through his genius. And genius being interesting as well, because the Roman conception of a genius was a specific spirit to whom you sacrificed on your birthday. And that was the spirit who was pictured with a plate who would give you these ideas, these insights, right? So, yeah, he had a personal apocalypse, but the result of his endeavours was very literally turning on the light. You know, that's one of the things he did, in fact. So, yeah, it does have a, a knock-on effect in society or another example would be Galileo as well because he actually took a telescope and turned it to the sky which very literally made something which was hidden i.e the moons of Jupiter revealed and then it was only 30 years away that the the microscope was also uh, developed so then you could start looking underneath your fingernails and looking at what's going in the lungs so again a whole new scale opens up and it wasn't very far away from when the new world was discovered as well because you had the Italian and then Spanish voyages of discovery. All of that happened in a very narrow band of history, really. I see it as kind of a wave which spread up through Italy from the 14th century, coming through into Reformation, new philosophies, new anti-Aristotelian philosophies, which is another apocalypse, and a whole new way of thinking in that direction. Discovery of the new world, eventually kind of going, getting as far as England. Um, by this time, we're talking about 1600s and 1666, was uh, when Newton uh, Newton discovered two things in 1666. One of those was gravity, and the other one was calculus.